Hi, welcome to Den and Denim, the channel where we explore Levi's vintage clothing. Today, we're looking at the Denim family subline. We'll talk about the originals from the 1950s, the recreations of today, and the all new made and crafted line. Plus, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a few channel updates. Subscribing is the best way to help this channel. I know there aren't many of you, but you are the best and I treasure all your comments and questions. Now on for the show. First released in 1954, the Denim family goes along the lines of Levi's Casuals. This ain't the cowboy line lot five. We don't need selvage double X that curves to the individual wearer's body. The Denim family line 17, then 18, matching garments made of lightweight, sanferized, aka pre-shrunk denim. The items made of denim included sawtooth shirt, bowler shirt, pedal pushers, which are loose capri pants, ranch pants, a couple types of jackets, shorts, skirt, then some non-denim items, t-shirts, short sleeve button shirts, Overall, like nine items for men slash boys and nine for women slash girls. For kids, there were really only like a couple specific items. But for men, they could choose between like four or five tops and four or five bottoms and make a mixed match for themselves. The items were made for the family to have matching outfits for picnics and pictures. The American family wears Levi's domestically designed and made. The 1950s were the pinnacle of classic Levi's era. The Denim family line was simply giving the rest of the people what they wanted, a Levi's tag and trustworthy clothing. And it really could have faded off into history. Until this next chapter. The LVC line recreates the best parts of Levi's history. And sometimes they do some less memorable items. LVC recreated some of the denim family items. Most are strict recreations like pedal pushers, sawtooth shirt, rider jacket, ranch pants, bowler shirt. And then I found like this reimagined variety of a non-denim shirt that they changed the colors for this season's palette. While I don't think the hardcore fans were rushing out to buy these, it's nice to see some other options for women. Just released this season, spring 2022, it's the Made and Crafted line taking the reins for the Denim family. They recreated some of the original items like the pants, short pants, shorts, jackets, but also give you some new items like overalls, short overalls, a tunic, and of course, a cape. The twist is that they are now genderless and each item is interchangeable between body types my first reaction was, wow, these are oversized. Also, how drab they felt. Like the Denim Adams family. They really tried a cape? Wow. Just wow. I want to try and say something nice about the collection, so here it goes. The denim is a soft selvage denim. It's something that is going to wear smoother over time. The dark indigo will fade into this wonderful distression. Making these items oversized and genderless lets you have some generic garments for guests of all kinds to wear. They come over to your lake home and here, just throw on this cape or these overalls, they'll fit you and you can be part of the group. And there's a lot of possibility and the higher quality of the made and crafted selvage versus the recreated lightweight denim is, is probably way better long-term. I really like this idea about it. But what do you guys think of the denim family? Leave a comment. Before we go, remember, May 20th is 501 day. I'll be doing a live stream on that day and I'll send out a poll to ask which is the best time zone to do it in. I'm going to cover the limited edition they might do for that day, but I think the 1947 Japanese will be it until later this year. I'll answer all of your questions about Levi's, so message me before or ask me on the live stream. 
I'm really hard at work on my 1873 first gene review. That video will be published on May 20th, 501 day. I might not get to post every week as I want to make good videos and I'm trying to get my dream business of a cookie store open real soon. You can really help out by liking the Facebook page, Chaskomania Cookies. We are delivering these amazing cookies within Poland very soon and hopefully throughout Europe by next year. It's always been a dream of mine to work for myself and these are really good cookies. But I still have to do my day job of teaching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Your comments and views keep me going.